Hello fellow reefers, Fragbox here again. I'm gonna do a quick video today on cleanup crew. Somebody came through the store and they said, wow, the tank is really clean. How do you keep your tank looking so clean? Um, usually my answer to that question is fish. I rely heavily on, where are you buddy? Tangs, so I really, I'm a big fan of tangs. Um, if you watched our other videos, you know that we recently lost all our tangs in this tank because I'm an irresponsible reefer and I didn't quarantine and we had a bad outbreak of ick so there's not too many fish but the tank has been like that for a month and it's super super clean so I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what we're keeping in this tank so that you can kinda get an idea of uh, maybe some cleanup crew so the most basic stuff to start with I guess would be snails so you'll notice in this tank we have a lot of snails going on so this is a trochus I believe we also keep Astria snails and turbo snails. So Astria, turbo, and trochus, those are our three go-to. I think there's also some margaritas and some nerites. So I'm a big believer on snails. We had in a crazy outbreak, I should have videoed this to show you how good snails are. But in this tank, the hair algae in our, um, this is our main sort of SPS system we have here. The hair algae in this thing was intense. It was getting out of control and the tangs were really lazy and not helping us. So we loaded it up with, um, I think like a hundred astrias and a hundred trochus just loaded up. Literally within two days, all the hair algae just got mowed down. So I'm not saying you need to add a hundred snails to your tank, but snails are really, really effective ways of controlling algae in the tank. So what else do we use besides snails? I really like these guys here. We have tons of them, uh, emerald crabs. So they're usually non-aggressive. They hang out mostly on the rock work, except for when a tank is very clean like this. Then I find they will stray away from the rock work and you'll actually find them uh, up against the glass looking for food. So that's telling me maybe there's too many emerald crabs in the tank and I should probably take out, you know, a handful. This is not normal to see like, you know, four or five of them out and about. Usually they're kind of hidden in the rock work. And then we also use a, a variety of crabs. So this is a polka dot hermit crab. They're really good scavengers and detritus eaters, and they're not shy at all. They're always out, they got a lot of character, they're fun to have in the tank. They're somewhat aggressive to go after other um, hermits with similar shells. I think this guy's actually in a nerite shell right now, so he may have eaten a nerite. And we also use a lot of these ones here. This is a red leg, or what we call a scarlet hermit. These are less aggressive, a little more shy, they don't come out as often. This is over here, I think that's a big scarlet. It might be a Halloween. I'm looking for a Halloween because we use those as, as well. They're much bigger and they drag their butts across the sand. And to keep the sand clean, we use, hmm, let me see if I can find any. We use conches. So this tank has four or five large ones. I guess they're gonna be hidden in the sand. I don't see any right now. Sometimes their shells will just be kind of poking out and you can see them. That might be a little one if he's alive. And we use a mix of conches and Nasaria snails, also known as zombie snails. So they actually live in the sand bed and they come out and go back down and they eat and clean and, and that's how we're able to keep this sand bed um, pretty, pretty white and pretty clean most of the time. I think the last member of our cleanup crew here, we have cleaner shrimp as well. Hi buddy, he's usually hanging out. That's kind of, uh, see if I can focus. That's his spot under there. So he's really good at catching any leftover food and keeping hopefully keeping future fish clean of any parasites. Um, he's kind of a pain in the butt though because if I want to go and spot feed some of these acans or some of the LPS, he'll literally go and steal the food right out of their mouth. So what I do is feed him first, get him nice and full and holding on to a bunch of food and then I can go and take the time to spot feed all the other corals. Urchins, that's the other one there. I think these guys are starving though, the tank's really clean and there's not enough food for them so they start to drop their spines and that's telling me it's time to maybe move them into a dirtier system. I think we have three of them in here, long spine urchins. So these ones are small, they're really powerful algae eaters and they also eat coralline. So um, if you're after coralline, maybe don't put them in. But I think it looks kind of cool when your overflow or like, you know, pieces of glass are, are free from, from the purple. But to each their own, uh, there is a tuxedo urchin or pincushion, one or the other, somewhere in here. But there's a there's a pretty large cleanup crew, but I'm um, trying to see if I miss anything. I think that's it. Yeah, so a mixture of uh, trochus, astria, and turbo snails. Hermit crabs, we have polka dots. 
Uh, I think there's a few blue legs. I know there's one big blue knuckle in here somewhere. It's hiding over there. But the polka dots, the scarlets, the Halloweens. Emerald crabs, like those little cute ones there. And the urchins. So we got the pin cushions, the long spine. And there are some peppermint shrimp. I usually keep a few proactively in every tank that we run just in case we run into any Aptasia problems. Those guys are excellent Aptasia eaters. So uh, prevention is a, is a good trick, I guess, with those ones. And that's about it. Usually my answer for algae control is tanks, but I've gone really, really heavy with the cleanup clue in this tank because there's really no fish other than, other than that one little tamini. But I think that's it. If you got any other questions about um, algae or cleanup crew, maybe you're dealing with algae or you want some advice or what to add or you're just starting a tank. We've got lots of um, different hermits and crabs and stuff like that here in the store and we love talking about this stuff. So I'm going to put our number and email at the end of the video like we do in every video and we love hearing from you guys. Okay, happy reefing.